Tuesday start of the second vlog, Why Details. First vlog was a feature video of the M3 here for the minor correction. Uh, last week, I want to try and focus more on sort of the weekly highlights rather than the full on process throughout the job. So if you can bear with me, it's all good practice. Next up is a Range Rover Vogue outside 160,000 miles on the plot. So it's a well used example. Terrible weather this morning, so I'll start on the interior, bring the car inside, get the interior tackled, and then uh, move on to the wet work. Time. One parcel from Elite Car Care and one from G Technic. Partly my purchases, some of our bought in for on behalf of a customer. Here we got Elite Car Care, Mount Gloves, Mike Climbers, Wires, Polishing Discs, Bright Max Metal Polish, Leather Wipes, more Mike Climbers, and a Car Pro Merino Wash Mix. Done, G Technic. I2 Tri Clean W4 Citrus Foam W6 Iron Remover G Wash W5 Citrus APC Trigger Bottle and Drying Towel G Wash W5 Trigger Bottle The washing it and the drying towel all purchased for a customer for their own maintenance. Ooh. New. Done. <laughs> Whilst I wait for the jacket potato, I thought I'd show you quickly the uh, Mason bike frame I've had dropped off. This is customers who had a new car prep with me uh, May last year. We're in full system and as a result, loves how easy the car is to wash. So before the bike is assembled, we're going down the same route. Being flat black, it has picked up marks and marring already through the production. Um, so what I'll do in terms of the polishing, I'll do what I can where I can. Uh, the forks obviously are with it as well, so they'll need coating. As well as the wheels. So the plan is G10 and Crystal Serum topped with C0 V2 Aero Cut. Mason.
been on the Range Rover TD V8 here for four days treatment. Uh, after a safe wash and lengthy decontamination, removing the exterior contaminants, bonded tar deposits, iron filings, we have blown the vehicle dry. Wheels have been off outside to be fully cleansed and stripped. Massive heavy brake pitting on the insides. And we are on the ramp starting the polishing process. Again, a two stage minor paint direction detail, perhaps our most popular service we offer. Looking to remove surface haze, light scratches, all the swirls, movements that you see in the sun. Obviously being silver, it's difficult to see, but at the same time, boosting the clarity, adding to the brilliance and the overall appeal. If you do a bit of polishing or detailing, or you are a detailer yourself, you'll know how important it is to keep your pads, the polishing pads, wool, foam, or microfiber, clean. Using dirty pads will only otherwise result in potential scratching on the paint, buffer trails, deep scores being induced because of the contaminated dirty pad being ingrained and spun against the paint. The Meguiar's spurring brush is well and good, more effective on the foam pads. However, you might see I use lots of microfiber for my cutting, Meguiar's microfiber cutting disc. This pad, the five inch pad, primed, good to go. This pad, just been used, so literally every pass I make with these pads, they need cleaning, they need spurring. The brush, not very effective. The best answer is an airline. However, in doing so, you will see a plume of dust released from the pad, which is great, the pad's clean, but that dust is up in the atmosphere, it's on the car, it's gonna settle in the unit and make the place a bit of a bomb site. So my solution is a bucket, some water, and the airline. I've shared this tip previously on my Instagram page in the past, but for those who haven't seen it yet, let me explain. So start by dousing the bucket with water, drenching the sides. Take your pad, take your polisher, put it into the bucket, Day three on the Range Rover, I'll keep it short. I know this vlog might be going on somewhat now. Correction on the boat, I've done the offsides on the bonnet, done the near side work around the tailgate as we speak. We have Chris here from the Interior Revival Company working his magic on some of the blemishes and abrasions on the bolsters uh, and blemishes on the plastic. Morning, Chris. Hello there.
end of the second vlog week at what details started on the m3 finishing that on monday back on the range Rover tuesday wednesday thursday with the bike i forget what it was called push bike anyway check us out on instagram searches on facebook give us a like subscribe share thanks again see you next time